Are you ready, guys? I'm gonna try. Oh. Baby, Good morning and happy August 20. Oh my gosh. Okay, retake. Good morning and happy August. Hoppy. Good morning and happy August 27th. Today is Australia Vlog Day. Hey! Blue's really sad she's not gonna see me in a week. I don't really know what Lola's doing. She's just kind of chilling, having a nap with the AC. <laughs> but I'm packing right now, getting ready to go. Yo, I'm like sweating. I have to go to the airport like now. <laughs> no, one single care was given by both of them. All right, I'll see you later. See you guys on the plane and then Australia! <laughs> Toronto to LA and then LA to Australia. August 30th. Um, yeah, I don't know how we got from August 27th to August 30th. We made it to our hotel room. Ooh, ah, should I do a hotel room tour? You guys saw the view. And then we have our desk. And then we have Tiffany doing <laughs> squats. <laughs> and then we have our bed. And oh my god, my favorite part. This is the bathroom. We have a tub, a shower, place to go pee. Ooh. So we're here for the whole week. But yeah, since we last talked, we have a lot of catching up to do. We landed in Melbourne. Melbourne. I can't, I don't know how to say it because all the people, I always ask how do you say it and they're like, Melbourne. And I'm like, how do you say it in like an American accent? I don't know. I think Melbourne. We landed in Melbourne. It took forever for us to get our suitcases. <laughs> and we got our suitcases. I took a shower. And then we head out to the mall because the mall is super close to our hotel. And we didn't even realize we were kind of matching. Like Tiff and I were both wearing jeans and yellow. And we went shopping. We went to Cotton On. We went to some Australian stores and they were super cute and but like kind of expensive. But some were really cheap too. I got Matt some like Rick and Morty merch. And then I tweeted you guys and I was like, hey, where should we eat while we're in Australia? And I swear to you, like half of the comments were grilled. So it's G-R-I-L-L apostrophe D. So we took an Uber to the nearest one and we got it. And honestly, I have to tell you, it was the juiciest burger I've ever had in my so entire good. life. It was so good. I wanted to finish the entire thing, but I was so full. I know. I was like, oh, my stomach. It was so good, so juicy, and the fries were oh. So amazing. And then we saw the train station. Apparently, Australia has a really, really, really good transit system. And we came home, we got some room service. And then, yo, I was so, so, so jet lagged that I just fell asleep at like 3 p.m. And that was our day yesterday. So I think I'm gonna continue on the vlog today so that this vlog isn't like five minutes long. But yeah, come along the journey with us. I think we wanna go more in the city and see what we can explore in, in Australia. And I think we also have something with VidCon. They have an excursion for us. And that's at three. So come along the journey with us. I'm going to get ready now. Oh, I also got a bunch of candy for a you know what video. Trying this Australian candy video. And I got the Vegemite. I'm gonna do it the right way and get bread, butter, and a little bit of Vegemite. That's what you guys said. So this is what we're gonna do today. We'll see how it tastes. Makeup time. Notice anything different? <laughs> I put contacts in. Do you notice anything different about me? Your contacts. Yeah, I wear contacts. Ooh. <laughs> I don't care about you. I care about the dogs. Where are the dogs? One's here. Ah! Being a little stinky butt. And here's Lola. Ah! Shook. I can't say your name right. Tiffany and I are so shook that <laughs> they drive on the opposite side of the road and I, it like confuses me so much. But we're at Queen Victoria Market. Cold. I'm exaggerating, it's like five degrees Celsius, but no, I thought it was gonna be hot over here. Didn't realize it was winter here. We're at this coffee shop. Australia is supposed to be known for their really cute coffee shops, so I don't wanna go to Starbucks, I wanna try out some new ones here. Oh, what are they doing? That is so cool. Now we're gonna go get some stuff at the Victoria Queen Victoria Market. Taking photos. 
I got two packs of strawberries for $1.50 each, so I got two of them for $3. That was Queen Victoria Market. Now we're on our way to, what's it called again? The Jose Lane Street Jose Art. Jose Lane oh, Street yeah. Art. That's a museum. That's now the so library, now the museum. Jose <laughs> Lane, we made it! It's hard to walk. I didn't choose the right foot attire. Look at <laughs> Tiffany, I cannot walk. Are you cold? Can you not walk on the cobblestone? It's so hard. Me, I'm caffeinated and doing well. My camera's not doing well though because it's raining and my camera's getting all wet. We made it to the place and hopefully we're gonna see koalas and kangaroos <laughs> so and animals and bushes <laughs> and plants. Tile for whacking dingoes. <laughs> <laughs> Give him a clap, guys. It's pretty cool. Rats. I'm petrified of my screen. Now, he might make a little sound tonight. You don't want that tonight. Oh, baby. This is a true dog. Oh, my goodness. Sorry. The female grey headed flying fox. Now, I didn't hurt her. Beneath him. And he has an 18 centimeter long tongue for slurping up all the ants and termites. Eucalyptus are the only animal in the world that can eat gum leaves for breakfast, lunch, and tea. And they are running their way about in their burrow, their home. He's so fluffy up here, guys! This is a little baby owl. Her eyes are so gorgeous. She loves taking selfies. And this is how big this she gets. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, remember when I pet those uh, koalas back there? Yeah, we're back home. <laughs> Australia, we have like a short vlog. But Australia was so much fun. Thank you so much to VidCon for sending me. And YouTube, I love you guys. I love YouTube so much. But VidCon was so much fun. I can insert clips where Alex and I hosted a show. <laughs> Alex, what are you doing here? Oh. Maybe it's because there's so many people here. <laughs> The opening show for VidCon Australia. I had two panels and one meet and greet where I met so many adult angels, maybe 200 or 300 of you. And I had a panel with Sophia Nagard, Rachel Ballinger, Stephanie Villa, and it was so much fun. I wish I could have stayed in Australia longer. A lot of people extended their trip and they went to Sydney and I was like, ah, I wish I could do that because the flight, you guys, is 20 hours long. 20 hour flight. I was dead by the end of it, but now we're home. We're not jet lag anymore. Blue's here. And you guys probably know by the title, you know what we're doing right now. Trying Australia candy. So if you guys seen on my main channel, I've done trying Australia candy before. But, here's the but, I never tried a lot of the ones that I've gotten today. These are new Australian candies I've never tried before. And I got fairy bread, and we're gonna eat Vegemite the right way. I got my friend Georgia Productions to tell me the right way to eat Vegemite. And lastly, we're trying it with the Diva Hall. Move your leg. Is that your Marc Jacobs purse? But yeah. Matt and I are trying the Australian candy together. Let's do this. This is my big suitcase mess. Oh, I also have a gift for you. I have a feeling that you're really gonna like the gift because it's something that you've nagged me about getting for like two million months. Do you wanna bring in the candy? Do you smell it? Let's do a haul first. This is everything you got from Australia. First of all, should I, I, I'm gonna give you the gift that I got you. Blue, give it to him. Don't lick it, give it to him. What Since is it, it smells like kangaroos. Oh, it's a guac bowl. Yeah. <laughs> you have been bugging me for something like this for so long. We saw this in Bora Bora. They had this at the gift shop, but I kid you not, the Bora Bora version was like $20,000 or something like that. It was like something ridiculous. No, it was like $200. Yeah, no, that's too expensive. So we, I got this one. It's from Australia, handmade from Australia. You can make guac with it. And Blue wants to chew on it. Yay, it's thank you. You're welcome. I think you're expecting a kiss. Oh, you put lipstick on. Yeah, and then I got just a patch for my suitcase because I like to put patches on my suitcase. I want to make guac. And then we went on the we sky dome. Here, right? Look it. And then we walked on the glass. That's my souvenirs. I also got some ornaments, but I feel like that's boring and I won't show that. Until Christmas time. That's our first ever ornament. You actually want to see it? They look like boobs or balls. Ta-da!
<laughs> Merry Christmas. Lola's gonna have a field day with those. Now, the actual candy haul. Are you ready? Yeah, it's about time. Let's get this Kay. started. Number one, this is 100s and 1,000 sprinkles. So what you're supposed to do is make fairy bread with this. So you get white bread, put butter on it, and then put sprinkles on top. That's what they eat over there. Next, I went through far and wide to get this sprinkle bread. Shapes. What shapes? They're like chips, kind of. Okay, crackers. let's try them. No, wait, I'm doing the haul. Vegemite. Ugh. Some biscuits. Wait. Anzac biscuits. You got a crunchy bar, which yeah. is something we have here in Canada. But it's also Australian, I saw. Tim Tams. This is double coat. Tim Tam original. Original. Dark chocolate Tim Tam. Is that toffee? Caramel. Oh. Cherry ripe. I have a ton of these. Hopefully it didn't melt. Caramel koala. That's all for our haul. What should we start with? We should do these first. <laughs> That's not how you make guac. It's hypnotizing blue. <laughs> no, it's not. Okay, so for these two, I need to get two slices of white bread. Bread. Get the bread, not the end. Mm. Toast. The only real way to tie up bread. Back in. Stop with the guac. Do you want an avocado? Oh my goodness. Here, here's an avocado. Lola's involved because there's an avocado. They both smell the avocado. Are you supposed to like cut it in half? You're supposed to smush it. No. You're supposed to take off the skin and cut it well, and smush then, it. Well then, here, and then I can't make a proper guac. No, you do it. You're the chef. Yes. Get the toast. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. Now, why is it stuck? Ah, butter. Why are literally all the knives dirty? Get the butter. Okay, I can't do it with one hand. Buttered up. Like Matt when I want him to do something for me. <laughs> Vegemite and then sprinkles. Let's do the Vegemite first. What's, Smell this. What is this? Is this like some kind of jam? <laughs> they yeah, like got... this. Look at this is the most satisfying part. <laughs> okay, so they say you're supposed to take a little bit. Okay, I feel like that's like what they want, right? They said they want like a light spread. Vegemite, done. Now the sprinkles. It's called fairy bread. You're supposed to go like this. If it tastes like a donut, I'm gonna cry. I mean, it looks like it'll taste like a donut. This is so satisfying. Voila! My masterpiece! My masterpiece! Matt, tame your beast. She's trying to eat all the candy. That she even wants the veggie mite. Lola, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah. No. I wish she was pawing. She was like. <laughs> <laughs> she was pawing everything. Pawing Adam, pawing me, pawing the plate. She's like, I, I did a good trick. Can I have it now? Let's do this. Wait, which one should we try first? Veggie mite or fairy bread? Maybe let's do veggie mite first and then rinse it down with fairy bread because I feel like fairy bread looks a little bit better. Look it, they're watching us. We have a live audience. Are you ready, guys? Okay. Oh. I'm going to try. You know, it's not as bad as the first time I tried it. I really don't like veggie mite. I get how people would like it. It's sour. It tastes like. It's not sour. It's like, it's just bitter. Now that it's I've tried it a second time I kind of like it I like salty stuff yeah it's like very salty mm -hmm. essential for brain function supports your nervous system essential for energy release honestly like this is honestly pretty good I feel like everyone hates it okay, you should eat but it's because they don't eat it right I don't like it fairy bread I'm so excited one two three this literally tastes like a donut. This literally tastes like the Tim Horton Sprinkle Donut. Like literally the exact same. I don't think I'd want to do this every day. Mm -mm. I mean, it's supposed like... to be for kids' birthday parties. <laughs> what? Happy birthday. Here's some toast. <laughs> this is really good. What do you rate the fairy bread? What do you rate the Vegemite? Vegemite? Like a out of 10. That's not a number. And then uh, what's this one? The fairy bread? Mm -hmm. Like a mmm out of 10. That's yeah. not a number. Vegemite, a seven and a half out of ten. That's way too high. You're being way too generous. Being really honest, I kind of like it. You need to have a really, really, really thin spread. You can't just have a lot. Fairy bread, I would rate ten out of ten. This is so good. If you are craving donuts and you have sprinkles and butter and bread in your house, then just get the fairy bread. DIY donut. Lola, are you going to help us pick which one's next? We already did that. You want to do the Tim Tams next? Yeah? Dog picks my trying to I can't even know. I actually have been wanting to do the dog picks my makeup challenge though. That is so cute. Have you seen that on YouTube? No. The dog picks my makeup challenge? No. Jenna Marbles did it. Tim Tams! Let's, of course, do original first. Beep bop! Have you ever tried a Tim Tam before? Yes, I have. In Australia, they were literally giving this to us while we were on stage. They were literally like, here, take a Tim Tam! And I was like, ooh. And I was like doing the Q&A with like a full mouth of Tim Tam? Mm, divine. We rate the original Tim Tam. Like an 8 out of 10. I rate it a 9 out of 10. I like the original one. Yeah, I feel like it's like too Maybe much. Maybe an 8.5. I like stuff that I can have mass of. Like, fill me up a little bit. Yeah, because you're a human dump truck. He's a human garbage cup. No, listen. You're a human garbage truck. If you have a pack of brownies in your house, he'll eat it all. He won't eat one. You won't eat two. He'll eat the whole thing and maybe leave one for you. One <laughs> left so that he doesn't feel like he ate all of it. Dark chocolate Tim Tams. Ready? Yeah, I'll just have the other half 
half of yours. Cheers. You low key like this one more. Yeah. Maybe I'll rate the original an eight and this one a nine. Yeah, this one's like an eight. Chewy caramel. Tim Tams just take too long to chew. Like, it's not filling me up fast enough. I have to like just swallow. Well, good, because you're a human garbage can. Whoa. Did you see the inside? Let's reconnect. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> yeah, I like this one a lot better. I'm not gonna lie, I don't like this one. I don't think it when stuff has filling. Like, you know the donuts with filling? I don't like that. I give this a seven and a half. Maybe a seven. Give it a nine. Double coat Tim Tams. Ooh, I don't know if I'm gonna like this. Whoa, this one's fat. Look how fat this one is. It's a this slim is the fit. Duke to the blue. <laughs> it's a slim fit. This is the Duke. Duke is Blue's brother, by the way. He's a lot bigger than she is. Beep bop. I don't like that one. I got a seven. Uh, like a six and a half. <laughs> Cherry ripe. Looks like this. Uh, <laughs> yikes. Okay, ready? <laughs> nope. I mean, it wasn't it the this... worst, but it wasn't the best. No, like, I rate that too. Like, the, it has like a. <laughs> Uh, it's coconut, isn't it? Is there coconut in there? No coconut, it's cherry. Oh, it has the same texture as coconut, and I hate coconut. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's coconut, isn't it? <laughs> Ripe, juicy cherries, and coconut, and old, gold, rich, <sighs> dark chocolate. <laughs> I mean, I kind of like it. I like the coconut. I would rate this like a seven out of ten. Crunchy. Have you had crunchies before? I feel like I've never had a crunchy before. You've never had a crunchy before? Mm -hmm. Are they in Canada? Yeah. Lola, no eating the tripod. No eating the tripod. You know what it tastes like? Yeah. Oh, oh that looks good. You've never had one of these? Like I feel like I've tried it in my last Australian trying candy video, but I haven't had it since. This is what it looks like. This is the type of candy to give you a cavity, but it's still good. Mm -hmm. You know, I've never had had a cavity before. With all the junk food and stuff I eat, I've never had a couch. And Zach. Like I feel like these are dipping cookies. Like you gotta dip these in tea. You're tea and crumpets. I'm gonna write these a seven, but if I dip these in tea, I feel like they'd be a ten. Same. This is pretty good. Caramello koala. Subscriber gave me like 20 of these. No! Caramello koala broke! It's supposed to look like a koala, but it kind of broke in Melted. my suitcase. That's good, but that's like an Easter candy. Mm -hmm. It's too much. That's the type of candy you get. Like You eat it once. For Valentine's Day or Easter, and then yeah, you never have it again after that. You eat one piece piece every day until it's gone. I really like these. I'm so excited. I wish I got more of these. These are called shapes. Ugh. I just powdered myself. Ooh. I love these. These are so good. They taste like crisps. You know, Blue yesterday had to go to the vet because she had an allergic reaction. The vlogs are out of order. They're going to see that in like two days. <laughs> I would watch Netflix, cuddle in a blanket with Blue eating these. Yeah, it this tastes like crackers. So good. I feel like you don't stop eating until the box is empty. Mm -hmm. So a small amount like this is good for you. If you're you. not going to finish your Meal, don't yeah, eat. I don't want to stop eating these. It's so good. Is that everything? That's everything, mate. Ow, oh, you're heavy. Koala. <laughs> Not yours. You're going to eat the eyeballs off. But that was us trying Australian candy. Adeline forced me to do this video. Yeah. I was watching Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah. And when Did it comes you like to it though? This video? Yeah. And we're sitting on the floor, like uncomfortable. Like, what kind of production value is this, Adeline? Like, I think you really need to step up your game. Like, you have a whole room to make a studio, and yet you fail to do that. So I think maybe we should give this a thumbs down for this video um also <laughs> watch there's like more thumbs down than likes in yeah, this video yeah, 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 yeah. no you told them the thumbs down yeah thumbs no! down no thumbs down thumbs up thumbs down thumbs up thumbs down blue doesn't have any thumbs you gotta do one for her <laughs> thumbs up thumbs up thumbs up hey guys this is lola make sure you subscribe for this paw you like for this paw. <laughs> Turn on your post notifications for this paw. Not the, not the bottom paw. paw. For this paw? You, you comment. <laughs> you comment. Bye. Right, bye. <clears throat> I know. I just said goodbye, but I'm here again, and we're doing an Australian clothing haul with all this stuff. Basically, the reason why I spent so much money in Australia is because a little bit of a story time. I love packing absolutely last minute. It's my favorite thing, my hobby, my favorite thing in the entire world. So I decided to pack my clothes, and I was like, okay, Tiffany, if you have a bikini like can you pack an extra one i forgot to bring mine and i packed all summer clothes because it's summer here in canada me not thinking it was winter in australia <laughs> so i get to australia with all of my summer clothes my shorts my rompers my really cute bathing suits and it's winter and it's five degrees celsius it's so cold so that's the reason why we ended up shopping a lot in australia come here lola come here lola oh Look at you can match my jacket. So the first thing I got is this jacket. <laughs> this is actually the first thing that I got. It's from Paper Kites. And I always joke that Lola is my jacket because it looks like Lola. Sometimes when I wear this jacket, you can't even see Lola because she blends into my jacket. Look it. I can't even see 
your paws. Look at your little paws. You blend into my jacket, but you can't tell because you're colorblind. You only see shades of blue and yellow. So I got this jacket and I found that I feel like this kind of jacket, like this material, like poopy jacket is going to be super trendy for when it becomes fall and winter time. Um, because one, it's super cozy. Two, it's super soft. Three, it's very warm actually. And I just think that it looks cute. I don't know. I feel like a teddy bear. Like when you see someone wearing this, you just want to hug them. So when you're shopping for fall slash winter time, I think that will be very trendy. The next thing I went to glue stores and you guys know, I love packing last minute. It's my favorite thing to do. So I forgot to pack bra and underwear. So I got this set. Ta-da! Just a Calvin Klein underwear. And I don't have a black one like this, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna be so comfy in it. I'm gonna look so cute in it. You can never go wrong with Calvin Klein underwear. I think that you can wear this underneath anything and it'll look good. And then they have a lot of Australian change. Next up, we went to kind of like an outlet mall, so they had a lot of outlet stores. This is JJ's. Oh, this doesn't count, but I got a pop socket from the Instagram lounge. And then it was like, I think it was buy one, get one half off or something like that, or buy one, get one free. I don't remember. But I got two Rick and Morty sweatshirts. I got an extra large because I like to wear it as a sweater dress when I go to sleep or wear it for pajamas. And then Matt likes to wear it as well. So it's like, honey, I do the two for one. Literally. You buy two for one, you wear it for two for one. So this one says free Rick. And then I also got one that just says Rick and Morty on it. It has Rick and Morty on it. Let me know. Do you guys watch Rick and Morty? It's just a TV show. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of like an older TV show, but Matt and I like it. We watch it. And then the store that I bought the most from, girl, cotton on. Cotton on. I had no idea. I Google searched. Did you guys know? Fun fact that cotton on was made in Australia. I had no idea. I always saw cotton on in Santa Monica and stuff like that. And I didn't realize that it was an Australian brand. And we went to a cotton on outlet. So, oh, we got a lot of good deals. A lot of good deals. This bag is from the outlet and this bag is just from one of the regular stores. This, I think this is from Melbourne Central and this one was near our hotel, near the convention center. It was like the outlet mall. I've needed just a regular staple nude backpack for when I go to like amusement parks and stuff like that because girl, you don't want to be putting your nicest of nicest bags in, you know, the little bin that you put your bags in so anybody can take it at the roller coasters. No, 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 no. You want to get your regular backpack. Do you want to know how much this was? You're going to die. $15. One five, fifteen dollars and zero cents. Fifteen dollars and zero cents. It doesn't look fifteen dollars. It looks pretty cute. And you can put a lot of stuff in it. It's just like a good day to day bag. Not going to school or something like that. And so I feel like backpacks are more comfortable to carry than purses. So next up, I got this sweater. It reminds me so much of Charlie Brown. Doesn't it remind you of Charlie Brown? But of course I got it because it's yellow. It was super cheap. I think that it was ten or fifteen dollars or something like that. And good for the fall time because we need some sweaters. I got this basic yellow top. I feel like cotton ends really good for like basic stuff. I think that this was like less than ten dollars i'm pretty sure i don't really know i took the tag off i got a mickey hat it's so cute and this mickey hat look at disney cotton on look at this five dollars you see this at disneyland they're selling it for 75 i swear <laughs> they probably sell it for like 25 dollars but like five five dollars look at mickey has like a little cute like he has like some flower stuff going on like ooh, aesthetic okay um and then next i completely forgot about this i'm so excited about it i just have to wash it because it's really wrinkly but this is a yellow romper oh i I'm gonna stand up. Looks like this. It's just your basic yellow romper. And you guys know I love rompers because you don't have to think about what you wear in the morning. You just slap this on and it looks like you put a lot of effort into it when you really didn't. You don't even have to pair jeans with anything. Like you just literally slap this on. This was $20 mm, on sale. And then lastly, I think this was in the dollar bin. Yeah, this is a dollar. I got some fuzzy socks. I wish I got more socks because that, that was so cheap. I was like, oh, maybe I'll just get one. And then next up, I got this reusable bag. Isn't this cute? I feel like I'll actually use this bag. And this one, of course, too for like groceries and stuff like that. Saving the planet. That looked like good off my lawn. One thing I love for the fall time are these hats. Girl, honestly, I got this hat. I think, I don't remember how much it was. I think it was like, it was at the outlet store, so it was cheaper. I had this. I was wearing Girls Sporting Girls shirt with, I think, a jean jacket. And then I just put this on and my outfit looked so complete. Girl, I swear to you, if you get any accessory, like a hat or a scarf or anything like that, it makes your outfit look so complete and so cute. So hat, super good staple for the fall time. And it keeps your head warm makes your outfit look really good like girl she spent so much time on her outfit that she accessorized you know what i mean like hats are amazing for the, that type of stuff and then i got these these are called like paper bag pants because they have like that scrunchiness at the top and then the little belt but i got these yellow paper bag pants i wore that at 
my panel and then I have this top to match with it and then also to match with it I got this skirt and I didn't realize this skirt came in pants version I so would have loved the pants version way more because you guys know I don't know I just do random stuff I don't like to be like conserved like I don't know like I like to move around but I got this skirt to go with the top Ta -da! it looked super cute on the mannequin so I was like Thanks. And then next, I really, 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 really like these jeans. I'm pretty sure these were 25. But you know what's so confusing is trying to find my size in Australian sizes. I literally, I had to Google like Australian sizes to American sizes and stuff like that, but it ended up working out. Everything ended up fitting. But you guys know I love vertical stripes because I find that vertical stripes make you look skinnier and taller. Really, really, really like this. With the vertical stripes, I think it'll make me look taller. I don't know, it's just different from your everyday jeans because it's like, it's casual, but it's also like, it's also different. Next thing. I thought these were so Aspen Ovar. They're these paper bag pink polka dot pants. And I thought that this would look really cute with like a white crop top or something like that. Super, super, super cute. I love these paper bag pants. I wish that I got the paper bag pants in this, but it's okay. I have the skirt. And then the last thing, I got this yellow cropped sweater. And girl, you're, you're not gonna believe this. So Tiffany has this exact sweater. She wears it all the time. You can see on her Instagram. And she got it from Topshop for, I think, like she said, like $50 or something like that. I don't remember. And I found this one. I caught none. It literally looks the exact same. Girl, this one, this one was, I think, $10 or $15 on sale at the outlet. So I was like, ah! I needed to get this. This is so, so cute. I honestly, like, it was so cheap. I was like, should I just get, should I get a couple of them? Like, for a giveaway? Should I get like, one for my sister? Like, it's just so cute. I just really loved it. Look, I look like a floating head. Everything is yellow. <laughs> and then the last thing, I got these jeans. They're high-waisted jeans, and I like them because they're a little bit different with that dark patch on the bottom right here. And I wore this a lot in Australia. They're super comfy. I feel like they're kind of like jeggings. They're very like flexible, but girl, uh, uh, oh my God, sorry. I think those were from the crisps. That is everything that I got from Australia. All of this stuff because I am an idiot and I thought that it was summer when in reality it was winter and very, 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 very cold. So it needs to get very cold clothes. I hope you guys enjoyed my Australia vlog. My, I bet this is super long. I keep saying that it's my short Australia vlog, but it's really long actually. But stay tuned for more poppy vlogs. We already taught Lola how to sit and how to do paw and I'm so excited. We have a puppy, but she's also been pooping in our bed. Well, not our bed, our bedroom. All morning she would have like explosive diarrhea. Sorry, this is too much. She'd have explosive diarrhea all over the carpet. We'd have to clean it up and we'd be like, Lola. And then we would let her outside and then the minute she gets inside, she pees on the carpet and we're like, Lola. But she's just a puppy. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Today's tip of the day goes to Adeline underscore yellow queen on Instagram. She sent over, never give up on something you really want. It's difficult to wait, but it's more difficult to regret. I love, 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 love this quote because if you have something in your mind, at the back of your mind, you're always like, mm, I don't know if I should do it. I don't know if I should do a YouTube video. I don't know if I should do, if I should go into the school, I don't know if I should become friends with this person. That thought is in your head for a reason. It's difficult to wait, but it's more difficult to re regret. And today's merch shout out of the day goes to Adeline the queenie on Instagram. I met her at VidCon and she was wearing my merch. But girl, why you gotta cover your face? You look so cute. And Pamela Bouchard, one, two, three. Oh, she looking cute. We're creating Instagram. <laughs> but I hope you guys have a beautiful, magical, wonderful day. I'll see you guys in my next daily vlog tomorrow. Same place, same time. I love you guys. No, no, say bye. Bye. <laughs> Bobo, say bye. No, 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 no. Not outside. Just say bye. Oh, that's why you want to go outside because Matt's mowing the lawn. Look at. Bye.